Now we'll take a look at a pay base based on piece rate pay. And that's gonna be the concept that we're not gonna pay people based on just hours. We're not gonna be basing on the sales because if they're not in a sales area, but we may still want to uh, base our sales on performance. And one way to do that is to say, if we're making things, how many things were made, we will pay by the units that were produced. So that's gonna be a, a pretty traditional type of payment method. How many units were produced, we'll pay by units produced. So units completed, if we have uh, 50 units completed, whatever the rate then per unit, if we're saying it's $12 per unit, 50 times 12 would give us the 600. Again, there's pros and cons to this kind of pay rate. It only really applies given situations where we're actually producing units and typically units that are all the same. We want units that are all the same in nature. If we're dealing with uh, areas where we have more creative type of units or the quality could differ a lot within units, then this method uh, could have problems. The downside being that people will try to produce more units of lesser quality to try to get paid more. That's going to be the type of incentive. So if we're making all the same units that have to pass a similar type of quality assurance thing, and uh, they're all the same, then this method could be a useful method. Uh, the benefit of it, of course, is that uh, if we pay just hourly, then the, the tendency, just the incentives that are there are for people to spend less time being, being productive uh, because it doesn't pay anymore to be productive. Uh, so the pro, the benefit, the, the goal here would be to have people spend their time being productive and pay the more productive people more money through this system. Another problem, of course, though, is that since we're not paying just on an hourly rate, it's difficult to apply rules, regulations like the minimum wage. So once again, we have to be careful here to make sure that uh, we still need to track, in essence, the hourly rate so that we make sure that the payment is qualified and over and in compliance with minimum rate wage requirements, which are not going to be based on units we produce because that's going to differ from company to company. The minimum wage will typically be based on traditional hour, hourly type of pay.